Hey Chicky, so okay, today we are doing pattern for the 31 day challenge. Now I went to Opta Google, which is something I do quite often to get inspiration for my manis. I uh, just typed in the word pattern into Google Images to see what would come up and I came across this image of what I thought initially was houndstooth and then I clicked on it and I realized that it was cat's tooth. So it was houndstooth turned into cat's tooth. Anyway, I thought it was such a genius idea and I've never seen anyone do it on their nails before so I thought that's definitely it. Plus I am a total cat lover. So anyway, I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. It's fun. Meow. <laughs> Okay, so starting off with the polishes, my two middle nails are painted with OPI's Alpine Snow, which is one of my favourite white polishes. And my index nail is painted with Cirque Colours Nympho, which is a lovely bright neon pink. And then lastly, my pinky is painted with, of course, Man Glaze Matte is Murder, my favourite matte black polish. Yum. I'll also be using Simply Peel Latex Barrier today. So the stamping plate that I'm using is called DRKA. Now, I just bought this on eBay. I think it's made by Cheeky Beauty. I am not entirely sure. The stamper I'm using is from Fab Your Nails. It's a squishy, yummy, hot pink stamper. The stamping polish I'm using is Mundo Eunice. I've probably pronounced that wrong again in black. The stamping scraper I'm using is from Fab Your Nails. It's this cool Hello Kitty one. It's just about the size of a credit card. It's so fun. <laughs> So starting off by painting the liquid latex on the skin around my nails because it just makes life a lot easier when you're going to clean up the stamping polish. So I think the stamping is pretty self-explanatory. Paint the polish onto the plate, then scrape it a couple of times, then transfer the image onto your stamper, then transfer the image onto your nail and yay! Do that pretty quickly. If you wait too long the, the polish will dry on the stamper and won't transfer correctly and that's just no fun. As you can see, tiny bit of cleanup very very small. Now for the fun part. Now I'm using my maxi brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop to add the eyes to the hound's tooth to create cat's tooth. Uh, also using acrylic craft paint in white and black. Now the reason that I decided to use my fine detail brush instead of a dotting tool to create the eyes was simply because they, my, the houndstooth image that from my plate is just too small. If you have a larger houndstooth image from a stamping plate then you could probably use a dotting tool or if you're brave, not like me, and decided to hand paint the houndstooth you could make the squares or the images as big as you wanted and then therefore would be able to use a dotting tool to add the eyes but I have never hand painted houndstooth and I just don't want to. <laughs> it just looks like a hell of a lot of work to me and not that I'm you know afraid of hard work at all but it's just so repetitive and oh anyway I just don't want to do it. <laughs> That's all. Nothing else really. And once all of that is completely dry you can go ahead and top it. I am using sesh feet for this one as per usual. <laughs> And that's it for this one. I really hope you liked it. I think it's one of my favourites I've done in this challenge so far. Now here is a close-up of my pussycats. Next up is to be inspired by artwork. So I'm totally doing the Mona Lisa. Not. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tiki. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.